one of the many traveling this holiday weekend. It's a good idea to be prepared for problems. Thursday, more than 6,000 flights were canceled across the United States. Travelers packed Richmond's International Airport Friday, hoping to beat the delays. A travel agent we spoke with says that she had to rebook 12 clients this week after their flights were canceled. And a Hampton Roads couple says their delayed flight out of RIC actually worked in their favor since they forgot one of their identifications. They say their flight was delayed five times in two hours and it has been frustrating trying to figure out how to get to their destination. We don't know if we're able to schedule a new flight. The last time we looked, it was like Sunday. The next time we're going to Tampa, another We just spent a lot Tampa. of money planning this trip and now it's just all going down. It's just a little devastating, you know. Marsha Jack Horst are flying out to Chicago to be there for the birth of their grandson and visit their daughter and granddaughter. They say they booked their first flight of the day to give them options if they ran into delays or cancellations. And as airlines deal with staffing shortages and cancellations, Jack shared a message for those behind the counters and in the air and on the tarmac. I'd say God bless you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know some of, them, yeah. some of us probably get frustrated and we're taking it out on you and we shouldn't be, but uh, thank you for being here because if you weren't here, we wouldn't be flying where we're going. Hmm. And despite higher gas prices, AAA expects a record 42 million people to drive to their destinations this weekend. There are a few steps that you can take to conserve your fuel this weekend. Morgan Dean with AAA Mid-Atlantic says it all starts with how you pack your car. Putting items in the car is better than on top of the car in a top carrier. He says even if it's an aerodynamic car top carrier, it will drag on the vehicle and it's going to bring down your miles per gallon. Morgan Dean also says urging drivers to prepare their vehicles for the trip. Also getting that vehicle checked out before you hit the roadway. Uh, you want to get the fluids checked, get the oil changed, check the tires. Uh, Morgan Dean says uh, if those tires are underinflated, you could be losing about 3% of your miles per gallon. Morgan also suggests purchasing gas in states like North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia, where the gas is a little cheaper. And lastly, if you're part of a grocery store gas points program, you can save money by filling up. Right now, the national average for a gallon of regular gas is 482. Virginia drivers are paying less at 462 a gallon, and the Richmond area is paying less than that state on the national average at 461 a gallon.